Cardindane in the Kingdom of Fife. This small coal mining village has produced two world champion pipe bands in the past and has now become the home of the world renowned bagpipe manufacturing company of R.T. Shepherd and Son. This relatively young company was established just 18 years ago but has quickly emerged as one of the world's largest manufacturers of bagpipes. At their custom built premises, visitors can find bagpipe tutoring publications all necessary bagpipe accessories for both learners and, of course, for the more accomplished player. The company has now launched its own CD label and has entered the world of music publishing under the company name of Douglas Music. An extensive range of choices in traditional Highland dress is not only a huge attraction for pipers, but also for Highland dancers, wedding parties, and really any visitor who would like to embrace the culture of Scotland and wear a kilt. R.T. Shepherd & Son is essentially a family business, but with over 12 employees, it is extremely far removed from the cottage type industries which have produced bagpipes in the past. Indeed, goods are dispatched daily to every corner of the world, and the company can boast sales in over 70 countries. A highly skilled team of reed makers, machinists and wood turners are the lifeblood of this dynamic young company. All bagpipe related products are produced here to exacting quality control procedures and it is this commitment to excellence that has made R.T. Shepherd & Son the world leader in its field. When one considers that nearly all the trained craftsmen in the company are playing members of the world famous Dysart and Dundonal Pipe Band, and the fact that the founder of the company, Pipe Major Bob Shepherd, won the World Championship title with this same band in 1977 and 1978, it becomes clear why players are queuing up for Shepherd products. The company travels extensively throughout Europe and the United Kingdom each year, setting up trade stalls like this one at most of the major piping and pipe band events. It's always a great thrill for younger musicians to meet the staff and to draw on the wealth of experience and expertise they can offer. This is the company's way of helping young and inexperienced players gain the necessary skills required to master this, the most demanding of instruments. Roughing and centering the wood, the first step in the bagpipe manufacturing process. All instruments produced in the Shepherd workshops are made from premium quality African blackwood. The wood has been stored for many months to mature and stabilise before ever reaching a wood turning lathe. It takes a long time to develop the confidence this machinist is displaying, but it takes even longer to learn the feel of the wood and to know precisely how it is going to react on a lathe. After a section has been roughly turned, the complex skills of boring, wood turning and constant measuring are brought into play to ensure consistency in every instrument. These men take great personal pride in their workmanship and they are continuously reviewing and updating their remarkable skills. Every turner in the company plays bagpipes and they know from experience that measurements have to remain exact in the extreme in order to produce the sonorous drone sound which has become the trademark of Shepherd Bagpipes. They are also extremely meticulous when boring a section of wood to ensure it remains ultra smooth inside. Many years ago, the killing of elephants for the tusks was outlawed and the world's supply of ivory effectively came to a halt. Early imitations were very poor and possessed no real durability. However, R.T. Shepherd & Son has now sourced a replicate ivory, complete with graining effect. This looks and feels exactly like the real thing and is an excellent alternative to ivory, but without the huge costs inflicted on the elephant population of the world. No bagpipe is complete without a chanter. Over the years, rival chanter makers have been embroiled in constant battles to better the opposition's product. 
Although chanters can never be considered to be the cornerstone of this particular company, the unqualified success of the Shepherd Chanter has made it the most popular bagpipe chanter in the world today. Played by gold medal solo pipers and a huge percentage of pipe bands, the Shepherd Chanter has stood unrivaled over the last decade. The precise measuring and highly skilled craftsmanship demonstrated here bears witness to the fact that every conceivable effort is made to ensure that each chanter produced is of the highest standard. Any mistake at this stage could prove to be extremely costly and is always a nerve-wracking moment even for the most experienced tradesmen. An even more testing moment when the crucial low A-hole on the chanter is drilled. All parts of the instrument are now checked to ensure a tight but smooth fit. It is imperative that each joint is checked to maintain an airtight fit, but also allowing enough space to enable the wood to breathe and move under differing climatic conditions. Another set of bagpipes now ready to have reeds inserted for full testing. In the mid-90s, Shepherd and Son addressed the mounting requests from bagpipe players to produce a smaller, quieter instrument to be used in the home for personal enjoyment, but also an instrument that could be used in solo piping recitals and folk scene concerts. R.T. Shepherd and Son responded to these requests in their own inimitable way and produced the Shepherd Scottish Small Pipe. This new instrument retained the same fingering technique required for the Highland bagpipe, but most importantly, this instrument was mouth-blowing, unlike the bellows operation used in their thumbring or lowland pipes. Here we see the small pipe drones and chanter being tested separately before the full instrument is assembled and tested. Here pipe major Tom Brown demonstrates the four different sounds of the Shepherd's Scottish small pipe range. Undoubtedly, the upper D small pipe has proven to be the most popular. Although the smaller chanter calls for a relatively high degree of finger agility, the sharp, bright sound has led to constant positive feedback. So much so, in fact, that the upper D small pipes have featured in CD recordings by the likes of Pipe Major Brian Lamont, Pipe Major David Barnes, gold medalist Mike Cusack from America, and Pipe Major Robert Matheson a massive endorsement in anyone's estimation. The immense success of the Scottish small pipe range has led the company to experiment further and the latest small style instrument has been named the Shepherd Highland Musette. Available in three keys, this instrument has rejected the concept of three separate drones and has been developed to imitate a three drone sound, but produced from only one specially bored central unit. The reeds are highly unusual in as much as they are more aligned to the Scottish small pipe chanter reeds. The drone sound is produced from a central sound box and tuning is achieved by means of these slide controls innovative to say the very least. It would perhaps be slightly naive to view this particular instrument as a toy. Whilst it is true that this instrument will be an immense aid to young pipers as a stepping stone to mastering the full Highland bagpipe, it is only a question of time before some of the recording artists use the music as a standalone solo instrument. <laughs>